Welcome to Master Data Management with Informatica. In this video, I am going to show how to execute MDM batch jobs on command line. This video agenda is to give an overview on command line execution of MDM batch jobs and the environment setup needed. Also give a demo on the same. The command line batch execution resource kit wraps the most commonly used batch APIs and exposes the APIs as command line commands. You can use command line commands to perform following tasks. You can create shell scripts to run series of job steps synchronously, allow job schedulers to run scripts synchronously so that MDM hub jobs run at scheduled times. Allow power center workflow execution of the MDM hub batch jobs. There are several SIF APIs that are exposed to use in command line that are execute batch stage, execute batch load, execute batch stage and load, execute match and merge, etc. You can refer to Informatica Multidomain MDM resource kit guide for the list of APIs and also you can refer to Multidomain MDM ser services integration framework guide. Coming to the environment setup required for the command line batch execution, the deployment of resource kit library has various lib jar files that are required and some special configurations of the environment information of the resource scripts. Following is a list of jars that are required from MDM hub First is a Cyperian jar, Cyperian common jar, log4j, Cyperian server jar, which is for web spear, MDM execute batch jar. That this will be available when you extract the resource kit library. The access 1.3 jar, commons logging jar, caster jar, commons pool jar commons HTTP client jar and IBM thin client jar as well. And the jars that are needed from application server are for JBoss, JBoss client jar and the picket box. For web logic it will be web logic thin client and for web spear it will be web spear thin client and web spear orb jar. Jumping on to demo, uh, first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, extract the execute batch command line zip which will be present in infamdm hub resource kit and in automation. You will find a zip file. You just need to use unzip command and unzip the folder into any of your uh, directories. Here I have unzipped the same thing into MDM execute batch resource kit, in which you will find two directories. This will be lib and scripts present in the directory. Okay, uh, logs will be created later when you execute any command in the zip. And the next step is to copy the dependent jars which I have explained in the presentation into this lib folder or to set the same class, pa class paths as well. Uh, and uh, the next step is to give necessary permission for the script files. Just uh, cd to scripts and uh, give execute permission to all the files in there. So you will be doing chmod execute permission to all the files that is the scripts files done so now if you see all the files in there will have execute permission the script files will have fine jumping on to next the next thing is to uh, configure the cyperian connection dot properties which this file is necessary because this is used while you connect to your server which contains all the details to your server and all the properties that you have that need to be set. 
so if i open the uh, cyprian connection dot properties you can you can see several properties that are need to be set the first thing would be cyprian client ors id this is on which ors you need to run these jobs you can get this ors id in your uh, mdm hub console where you click on databases and you'll uh, on for each ors present there you will get the ors id just copy paste the same and uh, you have to give the cyprian client username that is uh, with which user you want to execute the batch jobs and also the password for the same and uh, you have to mention with which protocol you will be con uh, contacting your server which uh, here i am i'm using http and uh, if you just scroll down you have to give properties for http like your server name this will be your server name and the whole ip to the same okay or uh, you can modify this ip and connection dot properties as per your requirement The next part will be you need to get encrypted password to execute this command line execution. So the for that you have to execute get encrypt password dot sh in scripts folder. So we are we are in script folder. If you do ls, you will find get encrypted password dot sh, which we need to execute. Okay, get dot slash get encrypted password.sh and you have to provide one parameter as uh, here which is a username and the password like you if you have your password as admin just pass pass this as a parameter after getting the encrypted password we need to set up uh, mdm execution batch environments so uh, there is a script file present in the same directory uh, i'll use vi editor to open the same Open the script file you may need to set several variables in here so the first thing will be mdm scripts home here it is in info mdm hub server and the execution command line to the folder level uh, before scripts okay and the script directory is mdm scripts home and next the scripts okay and the connection properties since i have uh, i have the properties file that is in connection properties present in scripts folder i have given a uh, till then and the environment script it is present in the script folder and you have to specify the name of the environment uh, file you are running so you have to give the full name for the same script that you are in and the log for, log directory you can keep it anywhere here i have kept in the same script home so i have another directory called logs and after that uh, you, uh, this is a retention period you can, you can handle this don't change this batch class uh, because that that is where that using which class we will be executing batch jobs and the next part next part will be the class pa class path you need to set uh, here uh, you can ideally it will be till lib and all the files after lib you can change if you, uh, if any jar is needed you can add the class paths till the jars you have to export the same and mdm username with which username you are uh, running these mdm batch jobs and the encrypted password which we got in the previous slide after that yeah here uh, it is see uh, there is this mdm connection dot properties which has path to the cyprian connection dot properties if you have mentioned see uh, ideally it will be commented here if you want if you uncomment it and mention the uh, proper cyprian connection dot properties path then you may not need to pass username and password while you execute each command every time because this will be picked up from the same kind of cyprian connection dot properties so you may not need to worry okay so after doing all this you are ready to uh, execute any batch jobs so I'll be executing a stage job on ODI party, which is present already in uh, MDM sample. For which, for a stage job to execute, you have to give the action as stage, 
and the table name on which you have to execute this stage job. This syntaxes vary and you can refer to our uh, resource kit guide or the KBs to get the syntax and what all need to be done. Okay. Uh, for now I am doing a stage job on uh, ODI party. So let me press enter. So the command uh, returns when the job is done. Uh, you can see the status and job codes uh, which will be given in the logs. If we go to logs, let me do a, go to logs folder and uh, you'll have a log of this action. So if you do cat on that, so it'll be, you can see that the job has been run success successfully and the return message is zero. Return message zero indicates that the job is successful. Okay, uh, this shows an, a demo of how to execute MDM batch jobs on command line. Uh, as of state jobs, you can you have multiple things that you can do on using this command line execution tool. Thank you guys. That was my time. Uh, you can contact us on support portal or even at support videos at informatica.com. Thank you.